Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, the 27th of May. Welcome to your middle of the week program. We've got a nice little quick burner with you with a little bit of max effort squeezed in. So if we're looking over here, so we got four rounds and we're doing 15 object jump overs. Okay, if we're not jumping over, we do step ups. We've got 25 Russian twists and we've got max rep push ups. Okay, so we're going to do four rounds. One round is going to be object jumps, overs, or step ups. We're going to do Russian twists or sit ups. And we've got max effort push ups. So the design of, the, of today's workout is to try and get that heart rate up nice and quick. Russian twist, a bit of midline work, and then some max effort strength work. Okay, so what's going to happen is over the four rounds, you're going to build up that heart rate. It's going to get nice and high, but you're also going to start to build up fatigue on that push up work. So heart rate up nice and high here, trying to get as much work through the chest and shoulders on that push up work. What's likely is going to happen is you're not going to be able to maintain your intensity or your rep range as high for every single round. So you may be doing 15 or 16 or 17 reps for your first round, go straight back into it, you're going to be breathing nice and hard, you may be going to hit 12, 12 reps, go straight back into it, maybe you're going to hit about 10 reps, go straight back into it, 8 reps. And what we're doing is we're trying to do it unbroken. So I don't want you to sit there, try and pant, do a few more reps, try and pant, do a few, few more reps. So you've got to keep on moving, keep on moving, get max reps, unbroken, as many reps as you can. As soon as you're done there, go straight back into the next, next round. I want as little rest as possible between rounds, and you try and get that work done as fast as possible with as much effort focused on their push-ups. So you just have to squeeze through and really push yourself mentally okay, to get that max effort on the push-ups while you're breathing heavy and hard here. All right, that's the workout. You're going to end up doing four rounds in total, nice and quick. Let's have a quick look at your movements and then scaling options for this. Okay, so for our first one, for jump overs. So you can either take a ball, if you want to take something slightly lower, you can take a ball or a pillow or a dumbbell or something that's safe enough to jump over. And we can do, you can either do like kind of like a skip over, okay? Maybe start slowly, just like a bit of a wrap dance. Add your shoulders into it if you want to. Otherwise you're doing a bit of a jump, one, jump one, jump one, okay? Or you're gonna go a little bit faster. Touch, 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 okay? The higher the object, the more work you're going to put in. If you're not going to do jump overs, you can either use a step or a bench or a chair, and you can do step overs. And we're going to do step up, step over the box. If you've got a box to step up onto, you can do 15 step overs. If you haven't got something you can step over, you can just step up one, step up two, and that may be enough for you. Choose a scaling option, either something faster will get your heart rate up more, if you feel that the step ups are going to get your heart rate up nice and high, then use your step ups. Right, next one, we're going to work on two Russian twists. So if you need to use a mat, please use a mat. This can put some work into your tailbone. And what we're focusing on is we're trying to keep this rib cage as connected as possible. So from here, I don't want you to feel the work coming into your lower back. Make sure this rib cage is tight. Belly button pulls down. Okay, your first, if you can use a weight, you can maybe use a five litre water jug, Coke bottle, anything you can give you a little bit extra weight. And you go side, touch one, two, three, four. What I'm trying not to do is let my whole body roll from side to side. Try and keep a nice strong midline, keep the elbows tucked in, touch, 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 touch. If that's too much work for your lower back or for your stomach, you can do it without the weight. Elbows tucked inside, hands clapped together, and try and touch, 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 feel those obliques work. If you need to put your feet down, foot, touch, touch, touch. The more you lean back, the harder you need to keep that rib cage connected and work from side to side for your Russian twist. That's going to be your Russian twist. If the Russian twist is uncomfortable for you, you can do a sit up. Okay, we have been doing a lot of sit-up work. We don't, we don't do a lot of side, side, side work. So try and stick with the Russian twist if you can. But if you need to do sit-ups, you can do sit-ups. You can also do alternating legs to elbows. One, two. So that's getting those obliques to work as well. If you need to, a few op, uh, variations for your Russian twist. Okay, and then your last one, you're going to go straight into your push-up options, okay? So, if you can do, so like five or six strict push-ups, stick with your strict push-ups, your knees will be off the floor, right? And you're doing as many strict push-ups as you can. If you need to, start on your knees, stomach nice and tight, shoulder blades back, and touch your chest to floor. 
one. And you can just work and even leave the knees on the floor. We want to keep moving without too much rest at the top or the bottom. If you really want to max it out, you can do strict, as many strict as you can. When you start to fail, down to the knees, and then keep working in that scaled option just to get some extra work out of the chest and shoulders. But I'm sure by that time, you're probably gonna to wanna to rest anyway. Okay, so that's the four rounds. Object jump overs or step overs. You can scale the height of the object. You can scale the speed of the jumps. Uh, your Russian twists, either with the ball, weighted, unweighted, or lying your back, elbows to knees. Max your push-ups, strict push-ups, or scale down onto your knees as well. Perform as many as you can. And that's it. All right, remember, we are doing the unloaded version today. If you want to have a look at our website, see what the fully loaded and the, and the partially loaded are, click onto our website, crossoplet.com, look on the home icon, home workout icon, check it out, see if you want to change it up a bit, mix it up, throw in some weights, you can do that. If you need a bit more warm-up briefing, we will go through that now. Okay guys, so the warm-up. So what we're looking for is we're gonna do a little bit of a warm-up, hips, lower back, shoulders. We do a little bit more for the shoulders, some workout prep, and then we're gonna get into the workout. So the first one, you know, run, row, skip, if you can for five minutes, do something to get that heart rate up for five minutes. It will help you a little bit later when you try and shoot that heart rate for the workout. So get nice and warm for five or 10 minutes if you can. And then we're gonna do five sets. We're gonna do five reps of each, inchworms, standing, pigeon stretches, step through and twist, some rotational planks and some Samson stretches. So look what we're doing on the inchworms. Okay, you may know these ones. Right from there, nice stretch to the hamstrings, stretch the hips back, hamstrings, glutes, low back, hands on the floor, hold, three, two, one, roll back up. And you can either do this on the spot or on the floor, knees to floor, chest to floor. If you want to give yourself two push-ups, since we're doing some push-ups a little bit later, push back through the shoulders in that overhead position. And then walk the hands back up towards the feet, hamstring stretch, low back stretch, roll up along your spine, low back, middle back, upper back. Okay. If you haven't got space to go forwards, then you can do walking back towards your feet. Otherwise, hands to floor, chest to floor, walk forward. You can do two push-ups again. Head push back to the shoulders and then walk your feet towards your hands. Walk forward, walk forward, walk forward, walk forward. Touch, roll back up along your spine, low back, middle back, up. And you're gonna walk forward again. Okay, do maybe go five going forward and then your last five coming backwards. Hands to floor, chest to floor, step back, step back. Knees to floor, chest to floor, two push-ups, push back to the shoulders, and then again, walk your hands back towards your feet. Nice, easy stretch, roll up along the spine. That's gonna be your inchworm. So next one, we're going into a walking, standing pigeon stretch. So back up nice and straight, trying to let the body move from side to side, back straight. We're gonna grab the ankle, you're gonna pull the knee up, old stretch, what I'm feeling the stretch is in this glute, and back down, step, pull, Pull the ankle towards your hips. Feel the stretch in the glutes here. Pull, stretch, hold, back down. Try to keep your balance. Up, two, back straight, chest up. up. And you do five or 10 walking that way. You can do five or 10 coming back. It just tightens up the glutes, glutes I should say, and allows this hip to externally rotate. Next thing we're gonna do is step in, through and twist. So we're gonna walk forward into a twist. We're gonna step through. <laughs> Okay, make sure this foot comes just next to the hand. Back leg is nice and straight. Uh, rotate through, so I'm rotating through the spine. Back to middle, step back, twist. Uh, step, two, step, three, and we're doing about five each side. From that, we're gonna go into a rotational plank. Okay, so similar kind of position in terms of rotation through the core, but a little bit more work in the shoulders that I was warming up for the push-ups that's coming just now. So from here, push up position, stomach nice and tight, shoulders over the top of the hands, and then you turn the whole body. So you can see those feet turn, open up the shoulders, stomach tight, and I wanna feel these obliques really tuck in tight, so I'm not dropping the hips down, hips up, come back to the middle, turn, hips, oh, turn, hips, and every time at the side I'm pushing through the shoulder, activating the shoulder girdle, squeezing the rib cage, obliques, and back to the middle, and I'm doing five or 10 of those rotational planks as well. Okay. If you're not comfortable turning to the shoulders, then you can just do, kind of do a pushback. So we often find that if you're very tight to the shoulders, turning all the way through can be quite uncomfortable. 
into here. All right, so make sure you just press back, push back through, push back. Press back through is an option for those rotational planks if your shoulders don't like that opening up. Right, and then your last one is gonna be a Samson stretch. So we're gonna start into a lunge position. So from here, I'm gonna press forward. You're gonna step into a deep long stretch, bring the knee onto the floor, press this hip forward, stretch, press, and back down. Press up through the hips. Press back forward, make sure the weight stays on the heels. Press hip forward, so I'm trying to stretch into this opposite hip. Stretch, make sure you don't fall over. And release, press back up. Step back forward, knee onto the floor. Press. So what I'm looking for as I'm pressing forward is I'm trying to get as much stretch to the top of the quadricep, up into this hip flexor, up into the tummy, overhead, stretching those arms, pressing. And as I press forward in my hips, I'm pressing upwards with my arms. Press. And release. And if there's too much in the lower back, don't press up as high. Make sure you're not leaning back too far. Press through the movement. All right, so that's gonna be your Samson stretch. Okay, so that's gonna be, so about five to 10 reps, one side there and back, that should get you nice and warm to get into the next piece of work. Then we're gonna do 10 air squats, 20 meter bear crawl there and back. We're gonna do long lateral lunges, and we're gonna do some straight legged bear crawls. So what that looks like, your air squats, you know, feet about shoulder width apart, Make sure that your feet are turned out just that little bit to make sure that when you squat, these knees travel in the same direction that you toes. So I don't want your toes pointing there and your knees going in that direction. Also, I don't want your feet so turned out that you're squatting forward into your knees. So make sure the feet are just turned out a little bit. As you squat, hips press back, knees press open, and you can see that my knees travel same direction as my toes. Hips are nice and deep, knees press open, back straight, shoulder blades back, press one, hips press back, two, Hips press back, three, hips press back, four. All right, so that's gonna be your air squats. Then from that, we're gonna go into bear crawls. So back straight, all right? Trying to keep the shoulders back, keep the stomach tight, and walk forward, bear crawls. Oh. If you haven't been moving for a while, you'll probably make some bear crawl, bear crawl noises, pushing backwards through the shoulders. And you're gonna do 10 meters in that direction. 10 meters coming back and then a long lateral lunge. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get some stretch inside the legs, push out the side, press out one, two, three, almost like a Cossack stretch, change other side. One, two, three, get nice and warm as you're doing this. Make sure inside the legs are stretching. One, two, three, other side. One, two, three, and then you can start to move. Just one, two, three, stretch, one, two, three, stretch, one, two, three, and you're just mobilizing adductors, glutes, getting a nice long lateral lunge stretch. And then the last one, we do a little bit more of a straight-legged bear crawl. So straight arms, straight legs. You try and bring the feet towards your hands as much as possible. So it depends on your mobility and your hamstrings. You may find that this is, you really struggle. But right, if you can't, then you have to, may have to do it here and you're gonna feel that your steps are gonna be shorter, but you're trying to keep those knees locked out, and you're trying to keep those arms locked out, and you're pressing. If you can come all the way back, then come all the way back. Stand, stretch. And that's another 20 meter there and back. Do two rounds, do a second round, air squats, bear crawl, lateral lunges, bear crawl again. All right, that's gonna be, that's gonna get you nice and warm for the squat better project number 13 today. So the squat better project, we've got five set up to pikes, We've got 10 quad post hip lifts, 10 stance to rock kneel split, which I'll show you, and then set up to pancakes. So it's mostly mobility work that we're focusing on, okay? The more mobile we are in our hips and our lower back, the better our squats are gonna be. So the sit ups to pike, sitting on the, standing on the floor, heels pressed out, toes pulled back, and we're looking for is hamstring flexibility, lower back flexibility. Make sure the heels stay locked out, knees pulled back, Glutes nice and tight, hamstrings tight, low back flat, pressing to the floor, chin tucked in, shoulder base back, keep the chin tucked in and press, touch. One, two, three. If you can do straight legs, do straight legs. If you need to bend the knee, bend the knee slightly to get a good stretch in the hamstrings and the low back. Chin tucked in, hop. One, two, three, roll back, hop. 
one, two, three. That's going to be your sit ups to pike. Then the next one is going to be a quad post to hip lift. So this depends very much on your knees. All right, depends on your knee mobility. If you can go all the way back, bum onto your heels, then you can go all the way back. If you can't, you're going to come into your heels, hands onto the floor, and you're going to press up. Three, two, one, and rest. If you can get your bum onto your heels, get your bum all the way down. Right, and then press. One, two, three, down. If that's too much for you, stretching to the quad, you can do this lying on your side. It's a slightly easier position. Look behind, grab the heel, Keep the knee nice and low in line with the other knee, and then pull that knee backwards, stretch front of the quadricep, up into the front of the hip. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, release. And stretch again. Five, four, three, two, one. Do five or ten times on that side, change into the other side for that quad stretch. Then we're going to do a split stance to tall kneel rock. So, what we're doing is we're going to split, we're going to start in a kneeling position. And take one leg out the side, all right? So we're going to open up the hip. So what I'm looking for here is to try and press this hip forward to open this hip flexor there. This leg's nice and straight, so I'm stretching through my adductor. Then I'm going to bring my hands down to the floor. I'm going to press forward, and I'm going to drop my hip towards the floor. So I'm stretching to this hip. Drop the floor down, and press back up. Push back into my hip, so I'm going to feel the stretch of the adductor here, and then roll back up, then again. Press that leg a little bit wider, feel the stretch. Push back, drop the hip down. <coughs> Press back, back into the adductor. Three, two, one. Roll back up nice and tall. Open that hip, stretch. If I'm doing the other side, same thing. Opening this hip up as much as possible. Push the leg out the side, stretch into the hamstring. Press forward, drop into the hip. Three, two, one. Push back. Push back as far as you can. The more you push back here, the more you're going to feel the stretch into the adductors. Okay? And it's really going to open up between the legs to allow that better squat position. Push back up. And then back down. And take your time with the stretch. You don't have to rush it. Take your time. Feel the position, front of the hips, adductors working on that split stance uh, stretch. Last one is going to be a sit up to pancake. Okay, or sit up to straddle. Straight legs. Chin tucked in, Up. feet nice and wide. One, two, three, back to the middle. Up. 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 One, two, three, and you're doing five to 10 of those. All right, once you've done that one round, do a second round. You'll find that the second round will be that much easier to get into each of those positions. Set up to pike with a straight leg. We're doing a quad post stretch, or a quadricep stretch lying on the side, that split stance with the leg out the side and then set up to pancake or set up to straddle. Okay, that's the squat better project number 13. Then we're going to look at the watt prep. So watt prep is preparing for the workout. We're going to make sure that we've got our scaling options right, make sure that the stomach is nice and well. We're going to do some strict sit-ups and sit-ups. We're going to do some step-up and overs, do some Russian twists, some object jump overs. So the only thing we just need to go, go through, in fact, we probably don't have to go through the movements. You're going to go through five strict sit-ups, if you can do strict sit-ups, okay, and then 10 normal sit-ups, throwing the hands, pushing through. Step up and over. If you're stepping up into an object, step up onto the object, step back down. If you've got an object that you can step over, step over the object. Your Russian twists, okay, hands together from side to side first. If you need to use that medicine ball like we showed you earlier, use a medicine ball from side to side, but keep this rib cage connected and make sure the work stays here in these obliques and not in the lower back, right? If you want to lift your feet to make it more difficult, lift your feet up. And then the last one is your object jump overs. If you're going to jump over an object to get that heart rate up a little bit more and you're good with jumping, do that. Find something that you can jump over. The higher the object, the more it's going to push that heart rate up. Do enough of each one of these movements to make sure that you're comfortable and ready for the workout. And then that workout, four rounds, object jump overs, rush and twists, push-ups. Make sure the shoulders are warm for the push-ups. Max efforts. Go as hard as you can, as fast as you can. And that's your workout. And that's your Wednesday workout, middle of the week. Tomorrow's Thursday. Look forward to Thursday's workout with you.